Kia ora, my name is Yu Chen. Before joining this program, my background is linguistics. Hi, my name is Emily and I did my undergrad degree in psychology and modern language study. Hi, my name is Evie. I studied psychology and anthropology at Vic Uni before coming into this program. Hello, my name is Candice. Before jumping into this program, I completed my undergraduate in psychology and my honours under psychology. Hi, I'm Tash. My background's in psychology and music. I've also worked as a journalist. So three years ago, I was doing research in discourse analysis and literacy. I bumped into an Australian speech language therapist and she talked about how to combine linguistic theory with aphasia therapy. And that's a fascinating idea. So I was just thinking, oh, maybe I could use linguistic knowledge to help people with communication disorders. So here I am. Um, so I chose to do SLT because I always want to do something that was helping other people and um, SLT was just like the perfect combination of my undergrad subject as well. Um, and I really liked the idea that you could work with kids, you could work with adults, and you can work um, yeah, swallowing, communication, like this, it's actually just so broad, which um, really appealed to me. Um, also when I was in high school, I did a student exchange and I was at school six days a week in a completely new language. Um, and at the time, I had a lot of time to think because I couldn't talk to anyone. And I was thinking so much about how I felt like I was like this rock because nothing could come in and nothing could go out. It was like a tiny little insight into what it would be like to have a communication difficulty. So that also really inspired me to help people who deal with that a million times harder every single day. The reason I chose speech language therapy was back in school I nannied a little girl who had a condition that affected her ability to communicate and seeing her speech therapist work with her and her family really had an impact on me and I just thought what an awesome job this is and she was also given a device from uh, an organization called TalkLink to, um, for her to be able to communicate and that was just so powerful that she could now finally have a voice I really want to become someone that provides as many support as possible to people with communication difficulties. I took a paper called Communication Disorder in my undergraduate study. At that time, I was so shocked by how terrible it can be for someone that cannot express how they feel and what they want to people around them. Unlike physical difficulties that are visible, communication difficulties are invisible disabilities. I've always had a love of the arts, languages, and writing, and science. SLT just seemed like the perfect combination of science and arts for me. There's so much room to be creative as an SLT, both in terms of de designing the therapy you're going to give to a little child, or even in terms of the problem solving you use. Humans are so complex, um, and there's no kind of formulaic approach. The other aspect was the ability to work uh, long term with people. Um, to really build rapport with them and see them through their journey. During the semester there is a huge amount of work to fit in but as long as you kind of keep organised and collaborate with your fellow students you can get by. I've just found the course has been like really supportive in terms of having other students, having students working together and staff are really supportive as well. The course is very intensive, like doing a full-time job, but it's really enjoyable because there's about 20 of us in the class and you get really close with everyone. The training in the university is challenging while amazing. The university provides opportunity for us to work with different people across different age and different setting. So a highlight for me so far has definitely been the clinical placement. I had the opportunity to work on a hospital at stroke ward and there I came across a man who had recently had a stroke and he had very slurred speech and was incredibly frustrated by his speech and people not being able to understand him and over the course of a couple of weeks while he was in rehab my supervisor and I worked with him uh, and his speech really improved over this time. He had so much more confidence and was a lot easier to understand. Being in a team environment where the physios, occupational therapists, speech therapists, nurses, doctors, everyone was working together with the common goal of helping the patients return home 
feeling their best. One of the most impressive things would be my block placement with the Ministry of Education in Dunedin. I learned about how language therapists at the Ministry of Education work under social model. So that is, we go to people's homes, kindergartens, schools, and we see what people actually need from speech language therapists so we can best support them. So say for a family with four kids, with three kids under the age of five, it's not quite possible for parents to just sit down with one particular kid for 40 minutes to do speech language therapy every day. So that's when speech language therapists need to think very hard how to use therapeutic strategies to best support their family. And I think that's quite impressive because there's no fixed formula to do speech language therapy and you just have to see what people actually need.